So it's, uh, it's question time. Uh, every month I'm uh, trying to stock up my uh, my list of questions to answer. Each one becomes a subject for the next video or, or maybe multiple videos or maybe loads of, loads of the questions all go into, into one, um, one, one video. Last month it was, why don't you own 20 houses? If that was too big a question, it was, what is stopping you buying the next house? Okay, so um, that, was, that was last month's. I got loads of interesting questions. It was really, really useful. I'm still recording videos, answering some of those questions. Uh, it's been a, you know, a two-way conversation, that's the idea. It's not just me asking you questions, I want um, questions coming back as well. I've written replies to lots of people, uh, either privately or you know, on the public comments in, in the YouTube or whatever social media it was on. I've even met some of you as well. So um, we, we run a, a weekly uh, discovery Zoom call and I've met probably getting on 50, 60 people via that and uh, introduced you, you guys to my team. And I think some of you are working together as well, which, is, which has been great. Um, before I ask the question, just a couple, three I don't know if ground rules is a little bit too strong. I don't like the, the uh, not, maybe not rules, but uh, three things to get the best out of this. That's the best way to put it. First of all, if you subscribe to YouTube, you will get the answers. Otherwise, there's no way of you getting my uh, my video reply. So subscribe to YouTube. Do that now. Um, secondly, to ask the question, you've got to visit a special web page. Uh, the first question we ever asked, I didn't have this special web page, and they just went all over the place. Uh, can we all keep them to one place? Uh, there's a link in the description uh, or below the video or somewhere around there'll be a link you click on it it takes you to a page on our website and then you ask that question you join our tribe it goes into a bucket where i can see all the questions otherwise they're just all over the place and lastly this is just for fun um, if you want a you know if, if you need an urgent reply or a, a bit of advice or something specific that you want from my business go to the normal web page and pick up the phone or email the normal channels because um, like, well last time we got nearly a thousand replies so um, you know I, I, I need to <laughs> I need to be able to uh, just sort through those at leisure it took a couple of days just to sort through them so um, also you know I'm gonna to reply to these but sometimes it wasn't an, an individual reply you know one of the most useful things that came out of it last month was 25% um, of the questions were all roughly the same thing that's really good because it means that I could, I could do one video and answer 25% of, uh, of your questions so just before we I, I, I give you the question then so why am I doing this? So there's there's two, well, there's one thing that I believe, and that is that property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. That's just something you can't argue with me about. If you do, you'll expect a, re a reply for sure. And if you believe that, then I think there's two problems. One, people, landlords don't own enough property. And that was what last month's that question was about. You know, why, why haven't you bought the next house? Why don't you own 20 houses? And the other problem I see is landlords aren't happy enough. Um, I want to see more landlords in the UK, but not just that, I want them to be happy, I want them to be proud, I want them to provide decent and safe homes to tenants, and yeah, I want them to be proud and happy. Um, so I think that leads really nicely onto today's question, and it's this, what makes you unhappy? Um, I appreciate that that's a negative way of phrasing the question. You could say, what makes you happy? But I don't think that's the way it works. I think you can only be as happy as you can be. Um, something about being unhappy is whatever it is that makes you unhappy they can stack up you know you can have multiple things that are stacking up against you that are making you unhappy i also think that if you identify them you can take them away um so that's my question from me to you please tell me what makes you unhappy you could tell me from a landlord's perspective or from a more personal perspective you can make it you know very narrow specific you know how you know, tenants how do we deal with this or um maybe you know um, I'm unhappy that I can't determine my own working hours and you know, it was a bigger question you know, it's nothing to do with property really but then we'll say you know, how could property fix this so yeah make it as specific or as broad as pos uh, as you like uh, as property or as personal as you like ask the questions let's see what comes in uh, I'm asking uh, getting on for 12,000 people here this question so we'll get some interesting answers for sure um, send them back in and amalgamate them all together I think there's some kind of um, yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of a psychological, mass psychological uh, thing, experiment going on there where what is, it, what is making everybody unhappy? Just a reminder, subscribe to YouTube now. That's going to get you, when, when I reply, it'll come out through YouTube. And don't forget, you can only ask the question via that special page. Click the link, put it in that box, then it comes through to a bucket. And uh, I'll confess, I've got, I've got somebody help 
else helping me read all of them because there was too many much last time so i will go through them myself but then you know there'll, there'll be uh, somebody else helping me out with that as well bringing some t to my attention a bit sooner and sort of collating them all up for me as well so uh, if you wouldn't mind that'd be great i'll look forward to uh, reading what you put bye for now